Testosterone has definitely become a hot topic in the last few years. There's no denying that more men today are actually suffering from low T, yet the solution on how to fix it, it's not so straightforward. Some of the symptoms of low testosterone include things such as lower sex drive, erectile dysfunction, depression, fat gain, muscle loss, and strength loss. Some of these aren't actually symptoms, but more of a result of an unhealthy and inactive lifestyle. And we sort of have a chicken or egg situation going on here. Are you fat and depressed because you have low T or do you have low T because you're fat and depressed? That's what I'm hoping to help you answer today. I'm coach Eric and the question asked is, I have low T, how do I fix it? Now the first step is to identify the symptoms you're feeling truly are stemming from low testosterone. And the only way to confirm this is gonna be through a blood draw. You're gonna to wanna to measure the following, total T, free T, SHBG, which is your sex hormone binding globulin, luteinizing hormone, LH, follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, prolactin, and estradiol sensitive. Now, time for the unfortunate reality. If you are under the age of 50, uh, most primary care physicians won't run these blood tests. And the younger you are, the more of a pushback you are going to receive. Now, once you have your numbers, you can reference them in relationship to this slide here. So what I suggest for you guys to do as you can either save this video and come back to it once you have your numbers, or you can take a screenshot of it and sort of use it as a reference point. Now that we've done all that, let's go ahead and talk about the two major causes of low T. Now we have things called primary versus secondary hypogonadism. So primary is related more so to after your testicles receive the signal from the brain, are they actually functioning properly? This could usually be determined by your blood test, whether or not you have high uh, or potentially normal to high levels of LH and FSH except your total testosterone levels are low. Now, some of the main causes for why this might be occurring are genetic disorders like Klinefelter syndrome, you have, uh, you were born with undescended testicles, uh, or you took a direct injury to the testicle. <laughs> Most of these things for primary, you probably know whether or not this is actually what's occurring. I mean, you're, you're probably <laughs> well aware if you look down at your balls and, and they're like, hey, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really see them. Now, in my opinion, most of you who are watching this are probably gonna fall somewhere into the secondary category. Secondary has to do with the signaling process. So here's how it works. The hypothalamus is going to produce something called gonadotropin releasing hormone. This sends a signal to the pituitary gland to secrete FSH and LH, which then signals to the testicles to produce testosterone. So you can tell this on the blood test if your LH and your FSH are low or potentially non-existent. Why could this be happening? Well, there's a few reasons. It could be happening because of inflammation. If you have HIV or AIDS, certain medications can also impair this like pain medications. Obesity is probably going to be one of the main ones. You have just age-related disease, malnutrition, and possibly the two that are gonna be the most responsible is lack of sleep and just being chronically stressed. Let's go ahead and jump into the five things that you can actually start implementing today to, to start fixing this. And number one, right off the bat, fix your sleep. This alone will more than likely fix the majority of problems. In fact, one study showed that just one week of five hours of sleep decreased men's testosterone levels by up to 15%, which is equivalent to aging 15 years. Now, I used to struggle quite bad with sleep and the thing that actually helped me the most was setting an alarm to go to bed versus setting one to wake up. Now, I did a more in-depth video on sleep improving hacks that you guys can watch after this one. And you can go ahead and watch that over there. Second is to lift heavy ass shit. Skip the cardio, pick up some weights and start training. Most people undervalue the testosterone boosting effects that this has. In fact, one study in 2016 showed that lifting weights alone did more to increase men's testosterone levels than weight loss alone. And if you're new to training or don't even know where to start, I have a free book you can download that includes a free program and a sample diet. The next thing is to reduce your exposure to endocrine disrupting hormones and xenoestrogens. These are essentially chemicals that mimic our own hormones and they actually fight for the receptor. These are things such as plastics and phthalates, herbicides and pesticides such as glyphosate and atrazine and many others. There's a great book on this topic called Estrogeneration by Anthony J, which goes into more detail than I could ever possibly do justice uh, in this video. Now, I'm gonna save this specific topic for another video, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one because I'm gonna go really deep into this topic alone. Now, number four is a very unique one. Increase your competitiveness. This doesn't necessarily mean a friendly game of chess, you know, each day with your buddy. It means you need to focus on improving and winning in every aspect of your life. 
Competition is essential for survival on all organisms. We compete to gain access to limited resources, food, water, territory, sexual partners. In humans and animals, we compete as a means to achieve you know, a higher social status. It's part of our nature to be competitive. You see, accumulating evidence from animal research suggests that testosterone modulates motivation via the mesocortical limbic dopaminergic system, a big word. All this means is that testosterone and dopamine have this bi-directional relationship. And this is really important when it comes down to competitiveness and taking action. Ian Robertson has a great book looking into the neuroscience of competition, and the book is called The Winner Effect. In summary, the more you win, the more likely you're to win in the future. The more you lose, the more likely you are to lose in the future. This plays a huge role coming back into this whole idea of you know, increasing competitiveness. It's not just about competing, it's about winning in every aspect of your life. This is why it's so important for you guys to strive to not just achieve your goals and things like business and at work, but with your health as well. I guarantee crushing a new all-time record you know, in the gym and waking up every morning, seeing yourself in the mirror and just thinking, you know, fuck, I look good. You know, It's gonna do more to increase your testosterone and your dopamine than anything else. And that brings us to our final point. And look, that's to lose body fat. I can't tell you how many times I see guys at 30% body fat complaining that they have very low levels of testosterone. And it's like, well, yeah, no shit, dude. You know, you're fat. There's no simple way to put it. The more fat you have, the more aromatase activity you're going to have in your body. And aromatase, it's necessary. We need that because that's how, as men, we convert testosterone to estrogen. And estrogen is not always a bad thing but we don't need too much of it. And the fatter you are, the more estrogen you're likely to have, which means the lower testosterone you're bound to have as well. Now, during this process, you could even opt for things like dim, which is very uh, useful in limiting aromatase activity and potentially even helping to metabolize estrogens better. But still, at the end of the day, just start your diet. If you guys found this helpful, if there was anything in it that you, you, know, you, you enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you guys have questions that you want answered in future videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.